Welcome to Shoutem. Here is how to create an app on our platform. Starting now from My Apps page, click on Create New App and choose from a list of templates. If you like to start building from scratch, use a blank app template. Once our app is created, we can start building it by adding screen screen from the Screens tab. Simply click on the plus button, insert the name of the screen, click on the box of the screen and add it to the app. Repeat this section until all of the screens are added to the app. By navigating to the extensions tab, we will be able to install some of the extensions that were initially not on the list of the screens by clicking on the install button next to them. Let's navigate back to the screens tab to upload content to our screens. As you can see, some features such as social wall only have configurable settings and don't allow content upload. Other content-based extensions such as news allow you to upload content adding items one by one or by importing the content via CSV file. This is how adding content item by item looks like. To create a category, simply click on the plus button next to the default category called all and then assign this category to an item. To upload items in bulk, Click on the drop-down menu next to the Add Item button, then click on the Import button, upload your CSV file, map the items and click Create to import the items. Once the import is completed, you will be able to see the uploaded items in categories, edit them, rearrange or remove them. You can also manually select how your items will be sorted in the app and in the content management system from a select sort field drop-down. In the layout section, you can decide on how your items and category picker will be displayed by choosing one of our layouts. Now that we are done with content editing, we can rearrange and rename the screens by navigating to main navigation. Rearranging is done by drag and drop, and renaming can be completed by navigating to the screen that we want to rename and clicking on the ellipsis button in the upper right corner. We can then choose the main navigation layout, or specifically how the main screens will be displayed in the app. Each main navigation layout has its own configurable settings, where you can choose list alignment, text size, what will be displayed, and so on. In the icon section, you can change the screen icons by choosing some of our default ones, or by uploading your own via drag and drop. All uploaded icons can be found in my icon section. Change the settings of your app's navigation bar by navigating to the navigation bar tab where you will be able to upload your own navigation bar image and choose in which conditions it will display. Moving on, we can change the main theme of the app in the theme section of the style tab. Shoutem offers four default themes which you can choose from. Additionally, in the Customize Theme section, as well as the other sections of the Style tab, we can adjust our chosen theme by changing the color of the icons and text, changing the font size and uploading our own custom fonts. In the Settings tab, we can edit our main app information by uploading our app name, one screen and app icons. Additionally, we can find extension settings where we can configure some of the extensions or screens that we have in use.
Before we publish, we need to make sure the store metadata section is populated with pieces of information that are published in Team with upload to stores. Now that you are required to have your own developer accounts. Once that is done, click the publish button in the upper right corner, choose your subscription plan and proceed with publishing. And that's it. Here is the app we created. Thank you, and of course, don't forget to contact us or visit our support center.